Greetings, beloved. This is Brother GL for M3 Medical Missionary. Today, Friday, like usual, we, go, we are going to have the Sabbath School lesson review. We are in chapter 9 of the book, The Foundation of Our Faith. 160 years of Christology in Adventism. But listen, listen, before we begin the review of the lesson, I have just a quick and few and few announcements to share. Next week, next Friday, we will not have of uh uh, Sabbath school lesson with you. As you know, we are pretty busy. We are heading toward the one a week of prayer and revival called Reclaim. While we are going to reclaim what devil had stolen from us, our child, our child, our sons and daughters who were once walking in the faith in the church, some were even born in the faith and are no longer walking with us. Our husbands, our wives, our, uh, our health, our prophetic message, our identity. We are going in back in the enemy's camp and take back what the enemy had stolen from us all right having said that uh today is so it's crazy i'm happy i'm very happy uh, as you can see i wasn't expecting to be here tonight and you know why for those who have seen my last video as a matter of fact i will try to redo that video because i believe there are some aspects in that video that are very not some all of it it's very important because the reason so is that we want to reclaim those people who were once walking with us and are no longer walking with us but however we have to acknowledge we have a part also to play so that's why i think that video is very and extremely important i uh, i will do my best to 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 redo that video for you for you my beloved friends uh, so much news to see so much news to share i'm happy also well as you can see i'm here with you with a brand new computer but i'm also happy because i've been in communication i'm i'm always in communication with people because the only thing that consume my mind and we know and we know that the, we should not let our mind be consumed by too much not to be distracted or get sidetracked but the only thing that consume my mind is a message i believe we have the most beautiful message and i think in a personal sense that if we ourselves are not excited by this message how can we expect other people to be excited by this message if we ourselves are in a lukewarm condition we should not expect others to be happy and to be hot about this message. They, could, they, they will get cold or they will be cold about this message. And I'm so excited about a message. That is why I'm always communicating, contacting here and there type of different type of person with different types of gifts. And beloved, uh, a few months ago, maybe six months, no. Four or five months ago, I was in one of our father church sons, father father son church, and I was talking with one of the elders, and I asked him if he would be willing to conduct a series for us at Entry Medical Missionary. And for those of you who have seen announcement number four, where I've spoken about emotional healing, and I've mentioned, I think I've also talked about. Uh, two aspects that will play a great role in the last days before the time of crisis of tribulation the great well, we're already in a small little time of crisis because what you're seeing now it's nothing but there was a relation uh, there was a role an important role that food and money will play and those two aspects will lead a lot of people that were that were once walking with us to join the enemy's camp and receive the mark of the beast and one of these aspects like i said it's food and money so therefore there needs to be a special correlation about stewardship in the last days in relation of the last days so 
my friend, my elder friend, he had accepted to conduct that series for us. You see why I'm happy. Everything seems to come. It's like when God is blessing, is blessing. It doesn't do no half stepping. It's blessing. And he had agreed. As, as a matter of fact, those messages already uh, already. He is gonna send it to me through my another friend of mine from uh, one of our other groups because we are we are worldwide. When in the Father uh, Father Son Church, we are worldwide. It's a group from Montreal called Reparateur de Breche. So by Sunday, I should have that USB key, but I will not release it right away because we need to do first thing first the reclaim week so there's gonna be a school of the prophet an online class an online class about stewardship not the stewardship that we have always known through years through times since we've been adventists we're talking about in relationship how uh, to do about in the last days so don't miss that online class now, having said that, I'm going to be very short this uh, this evening on the Sabbath school lesson. I'm going to let I'm do, going to do a lot of reading, but before we do so, once again, we are studying chapter nine of the book, the foundation of our faith, 160 years of Christology in Adventism written by dr alan stomp so you guys i hope you guys are taking notes wrote, write it down so you can go seek that pdf and start to study for yourselves all right but for those who want to study along and take notes while i'm reviewing the lesson it's mostly going to be a lot of reading because i'm going to speak so few. <laughs> i'm tired to hear whatever i hear is what I ca comes out of my mouth no I'm going to speak so few and I'm going to let the pioneers speak for themselves, all right? Especially Sister Ellen G. White. All right, guys, so uh, while you go, go get some pen and a paper, I'll be waiting for you, all right? Go get your pen, your paper, I'll be waiting for you. Traiter comme un coupable, brisé pour mon péché. Ton angoisse suprême, ma douleur, ton tourment, me dis je vois, je t'aime, j'ai pris ton châtiment. Donné du Père dans mon âme et dans la coupe amère pour ton iniquité. Le flamme. I'm back. I'm sorry for that. About we pray. 
sorry for that. Let me stop that. So I don't want to stop that. Wow, I don't want to stop that. But I, I must. It's a must, all right? We'll worship. We'll worship together tomorrow at our local church. And those of you, by the way, by the way, in the lesson, I'm gonna say something about worship, about the lesson, about question people are sending me. All right, and I think this one is very relevant. Beloved Holy Spirit, for the Holy Spirit guide us into all truth even now hide me behind that cross anyway i will not be speaking further i will let the pioneers speak just open our heart out and on our intelligence allow us us not to come before you with our own a priori but with a blank mind so that you can feel it with your word and your presence in jesus name i pray amen all right, beloved, so we are in chapter 9, Ellen G. White and the Doctrine of God. The understanding of the Advent pioneers contrasts widely with the current standard accepted by the church today as expressed in, fun in the fundamentals. There was one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A unity of three co-eternal person fundamental belief belief number two in a special issue of the adventist review devoted to the 27 fundamental belief currently 20 20 currently 28 we find the following concerning the doctrine of the trinity wow no listen no which part of no i don't know but which part of no you don't understand while no scriptural passage passage states formally the doctrine of the trinity it is assumed hmm. now there's no a dust that it is assumed That's mean it comes from the heart of men. The desire to hear itchy things. Because we have itchy ears. It comes from the heart of men. What does the dust said the Lord says about this? Jeremiah, come on saints, come on saints. I know you Bible students. The heart is this is desperately wicked is evil and desperately wicked above all things who can know it it is assumed all right let me continue the reading it is assumed as a fact by bible writers and mentioned several times is that so should we resurrect the Bible writers and ask them, what did you mean? Only by faith can we accept the existence of the Trinity. Adventist Review, Volume, Volume, Adventist Review, Volume 158, Number 31 page 4 undated but published in July 1981 only by faith can we accept I want to tell you something saints when I was in the at the university in pastoral study I had a class class called theology and we used we debated over this the, 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 the theology well at that time we were all four and the teacher was hoping that we would all be four but it was as it we had a big book and the, in that book they, it was so close to the truth and we had to find it's like a game find the mistake by God grace we all found it and we would debate ab about this and the subject of the Trinity came and I shut my I kept my mouth shut but many students were talking about a mystery listen when it comes to mystery 
the Bible, not the Bible, the Romish Catholic uh, Catholic Church denomination claim that this doctrine is a mystery and upon it is based all the central belief of the Catholic Church. Freemasons, we all know, are Satanists, says, it says in Freem that there is no more doctrine more emphasized than Trinity in Freemason. And we know it's Satanism. What does Satanism has to do with Trinity? Could it be possible that this doctrine comes from somewhere else and got this guys under the cloak of Christianity? Is it possible? Now, when they talk about mystery, where this is where I'm a little bit upset because I'm not talking about my brethren, my co, my fellow ex comrade. I'm not talking about these people. I'm talking in Christendom. Oftentimes, they use the word mystery or the word faith to justify their ignorance. You see, the hidden things are for God, but the revealed things are for men, and the Bible clearly reveals. You all, all you have to do is approach the Word of God with an, an empty and clear mind. Well, if you approach it with your priories, you will not learn. You will not learn. Let us continue the reading. In order to be co-workers with God. Oh, we don't work for God. We are co-workers. In order to be co-workers with God, in order to become like Him and to reveal His character, we must know Him aright. We must know Him as He reveals Himself. The known thing are for, God, uh, 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 are for men and the unknowns are for God. And He had revealed it to us, His character. He had revealed Himself to us. A knowledge of God is the foundation of all, some, mm -mm, all true education and all true service. It is the only will safeguard against temptation. It is this alone that can make us like God in character. So many people are praying, 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 and they're sincere. And they wish to be like God because they know uh, what, that Christ is longing for his character to be reproduced in his people when his character shall be perfectly reproduced in his people then he will come to claim a people as his own so they are sincere but they don't seem to get to that point they just they tell you that there where the start comes where to start by a knowledge of God at the beginning of the of his high priestly prayer, Jesus said, And this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God. Did Jesus speak sometimes in the, in the third person? Yes. Is he speaking in the third person here? No. He's speaking about somebody else which is not him. How do I know? Listen to the following. And addition so that's mean there's somebody first there was a first and he is second wait wait if you are listening and you are not part of the remnant church we don't take anything away of the divinity of jesus christ like every christian we believe in the holy spirit or ever who is the Holy Spirit he is the comforter and who is that comforter I've shared it before go back 
if you are not part of this of this uh, faith of this denomination telling you right away right off the bat who is that comforter who is will not give you service will not be service to you go back do some study and if you can find it please contact me here i'll even give you my number right away zero one one if you overseas if you are overseas four three eight four six eight four one seven three we can share we can enjoy we can spend some night together in studying all right i used to defend that for 30 years in the church before i realized i myself was misled in error and god wants desire people is people to be like children children because children are teachable okay where was i and this is life eternal that they might know thee the only true god and jesus christ whom thou hast sent the scripture the scriptures also state the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding proverb 9 verse 10 arguably no person outside outside of adventism had, has studied and researched the writing of ellen g white more than the late walter martin martin came came to the conclusion that ellen with ellen g white was at first arian was at first Arian, but later became Trinitarian. This church was never repu repudiated by either Froome, we talk about Leroy Froome, and Anderson. Now, now let us see. This, this sister White, all right, the sister White agree with the council it, it, that with the council which gave the decree it, the decrees that established the catholic faith let us see the sovereign of the universe was not alone in his work of, benef of beneficence he had an associate all right a co-worker who could appreciate his purpose and could share his joy in giving happiness to created being in the in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god the same was in the beginning with god john 1 verse 1 and 2 christ the word the only begotten of God was one with the eternal Father, one in nature, in character, in purpose, the only being that could enter that could enter into all the consoles and purposes of God. His name shall be called Wonderful, Consoler, the My God the everlasting father the prince of peace isaiah 9 6 is going forth i've been from i've been from old from everlasting micah chapter 5 verse 2 right and the son of god declares concerning himself the lord possessed me in the beginning of his way before his works of old i was set up from everlasting when he appointed the foundation of the earth then i was by him as one brought up with him and i was daily his delight rejoicing always before him proverb 8 22 to 30 and Patriarch and Prophets, page 34, published in 1890. Notice the publishing date is before the death of Ellen White because a lot of things have changed. Oh, don't get me wrong, a lot of things have changed. 
A careful reading of this paragraph reveals several important points that should not be overlooked. All right, beloved, we're gonna. That's why we play honest theology. When we have nothing to fear, when we know what we believe, when we have done, we have nothing to fear. We can do honest theology. All right, we can see. Hey, hey this this point there is. Mm, so we're going to delve into it and go deeper into it, all right? Firstly, Sister White calls the Father the Sovereign of the Universe. She does not state that Christ is the Sovereign with Him. However, she does say that the Sovereign had an associate, a co-worker. A co-worker. This associate, she declares to be Christ, who is the only being that could enter into all the consoles and purpose of God. You can also find that the that console, there are two in that console in Zechariah 6, verse 13. This is not it's, this is three things I'm, I'm giving you. Huh? You can take note. I hope you're taking note anyway. The king of the universe sum, summoned the heavenly host before him that in their presence in their presence he might set forth the true position of his son and show the relation is he wow well, the relation is substain to all created beings. <laughs> sorry this you know this is so me huh? underlying things and then i cannot see my own writing because i, I underline over it because i couldn't underline straight this is so me well yeah, this is so me, beloved. All right, listen. Uh, the Son of God shared the Father's throne and the glory of the eternal self existent one and circled both. About the throne, listen. And let me let, let me read this again. Let me read this again, beloved. The Son of God shared the Father's throne. Wait a second. What does Psalm 92 says? In him there is no unrighteousness. I hope you all know Psalm 92, right? We like to share it during the Sabbath. When we open the Sabbath, of course, some of you don't receive the Sabbath. Neither some of you don't let go of the Sabbath. But I'm talking to all of you who receive the Sabbath every Friday at sundown and close the Sabbath Saturday at sundown. Well, that's one of the psalms that we usually read meditates upon psalm 92 you should know that psalm by heart by now what does it says in him there was no unrighteousness what does unrighteousness uh, what's this a synonym for unrighteousness iniquity what is a synonym for iniquity besides sin in justice so that's mean that God is just, right? Just in all point. Listen, who share the thrones? Wait a second. I thought they were three. Co-equal. How come the third one that you call a third God does not have a throne? How come it does not receive worship? And how come in Revelation, the last book for the last people of the last generation, there's only the name of the Father and the Son, and yet they're co-equal. I see injustice. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. Correct me if I'm wrong. I see injustice there. Where is the third being? Where is that third person? Is he so weak? Because my understanding from my reading is so great, so powerful, almighty, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. Would he be so weak? And have we been lied to? That is not what he claims to be, what the Bible describes him to be, that he has to be three, to be God. I can I'm just questioning myself. Or is God in spite of everything? And why I'm questioning myself. 
we're talking about emotional healing, right? Oftentimes we're talking about health, right? I mean, if someone gives us a specific message, that person first and foremost must be healthy himself. Or else we could see it was a little cuckoo in the brain, right? Did Jesus on that cross made a prayer to himself? Went up to himself to reconcile the world with himself? If he's praying to himself, look what happened. The publican and the Pharisee. And the, and the Pharisee. The publican was praying to God. He got out of that synagogue justified. But the Pharisee prayed thus, the Bible says, to himself. <coughs> Father, I pray that I'm not like him. I don't do this. I don't do that. I fast this much. He prayed to himself. Did Je was Jesus praying to himself? And if he was praying to himself, that, is, that would be worse than the Pharisee's prayer. To who was he praying? And how come there is a, a hierarchy? That I want you to know that the head of all women is men. The head of men is Christ. And the head of Christ is God. I'm not this is not part of the of the study. This is just question. I'm questioning myself. I hope you understand what I mean and where I'm going. The king of the universe summoned the heavenly host before him that in their present that in their presence he might set forth the true position of his son and show the throne and show the the throne throne the throne and the glory of the eternal self-existent one and so-called boat let me see and maybe I and show the relation is sustained to all created being yeah I, I knew i skipped something the son of god shared the father's throne and the glory of the eternal self-existent one and so-called boat not Three bold about the time about the tr throne gathered the holy angels, a vast unnumbered throng. Sorry, then ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands. Revelation chapter 5, verse 11. The most exalted angels as ministers and subjects. Rejoicing in the light that fell upon upon men from the presence of the di deity before the assembled inhabitant of heaven, the king declares that none, none but Christ, the only begotten of God, could fully enter into his purpose and to him it was committed to execute the mighty counsel of his will wait a second how come the third person cannot enter maybe you are seeing this video for the first time we we'll go back there's three two more videos two three or three two or three more chapter previously to this one so you can understand a lot of things you can go on m3 santé spirituality in french there are some videos there you can go on the, my own facebook uh, on the jacques lionel guillaume then go on the videos there's a lot of things start from the beginning like i said before if you are interested to the study we can start from the beginning if you are new only if you are new you are tuning for the first time because i know it might be str something strange to you but uh, you will see there is only one God, the Father, and one Son, Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of, meaning it belongs to somebody, but it's not detached to somebody. It belongs, like my spirit grieves, Doesn't it means I'm grieving. It doesn't mean another person is grieving instead of me. I'm with the Holy Spirit of God. We are by the word of the god all by the word of god all the 
all everything was created and by the breath of his mouth the uh, the heavenly host breath who are in in the hebrew the, the spirit of god overs o, over the water genesis 1 it's the same word john uh, john uh, 20 verse 29 i believe i'm not sure you have to google i'm not sure by memory but right now he says jesus breathed upon his disciples he says receive ye the holy spirit look receive ye the holy spirit god jesus when he created adam and eve he breathed and man became a living soul when man dies the spirit goes back to god who gave it so that these are just a few things i can share with you what we are really sharing today what we are really doing through that to, to that book is explaining the relationship the understanding of the pioneer and of our uh, will prophetic identity what we believe and how come there's a change in the church in the denomination that's what we are really doing where did it came from since the pioneer never believed that and since we believe from the bottom of my heart that and not just from the bottom of my heart we have proof that sister white had received the gift of prophecy the prophetic gift and first corinthians 1 verse 7 i believe says that gift would be there until the end for those who are waiting for the second coming so we, the gift is there and we believe that it has been manifested in sister's white life so now other people's coming and they're telling you other things that has nothing to do with the testimony and don't get me wrong we do believe in the bible we put the bible first place but when we talk about the testimony the bible itself says in revelation 19 verse 10 it is the testimony the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of jesus christ so let us consider our thing let us consider the thing okay. Okay. Let me see. Because I had this on the line, but I'm trying to see what because I'm studying every day I do a little bit. I'm trying to see what was in my mind when I underlined this. Let just give me two seconds, alright, Saints. Well, that, well, I'm just going to read one quotation and then I will move on to another to another part. Okay? The eternal father, the, unche the unchangeable one, gave his only begotten son, tore from his bosom, tore from his bosom, who was made in the express image of his person and sent him down to earth to reveal how greatly he loved mankind. Review and Errol, July 9, 1895. Now, what we want to consider, we want to consider the hierarchy in heaven because we know we are talking that there was two from everlasting to everlasting, there were two, and we know that the spirit is the spirit of, of God, not a third person separate of God, all right? So let us consider our right, hierarchy if the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. So the first one would be the Father, the second one would be the Son, right? And who is the third one? See, since the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God, is Jesus Himself also Jesus Himself in a in a nature not revealed to man, his presence not revealed to man, is the is it is his omnipresence because when jesus was there he was a fully man 100 percent he could not be in china africa united states at the same time he was one he was man all right so to be a god you have to be omni omniscient omnipotent and omnipresence and jesus don't be deceived is God, though is not the one true God, is God, and the reason why is God, because you will see a cat begetting a cat. A cat cannot beget a giraffe nor a dog. A God begets 
a God. And if there was only one true God, that means Jesus is not. So don't t t tell me about N N Nimrod, Gaia, all those Zeus, all those mythological gods. There was one God. All right? So, the Lord has shown me that Satan was once, we're talking about the hierarchy, Satan was once an honored angel in heaven next. What does it mean next? It means next. It's mean right there. It doesn't mean that there's five, six person and separate in, in between and it's there. It means next. Hey, I'm French. My mother tongue is Creole from 80 and I can understand that. Don't tell me you English people don't understand. Satan was next to Jesus Christ. And I saw that when God said to his son, let us make men in our image, Satan was jealous of Jesus. He wished to be consulted concerning the formation of men. He was filled with envy, jealousy, and hatred. And hatred. He wished to be the highest in heaven next to God and receive the highest honor spiritual gifts volume 1 page 17 what position did she understand satan to have we're talking about ellen white don't forget this is ellen white's view and understanding all right fully the end of controversy between christ and satan the character of god was now fully vindicated vindicate he vindicated in his act of banishing from heaven the fallen angel who had once been exalted next oh that's mean the father is son only begotten literal son and lucifer was the next what is the difference between lucifer and jesus one is begotten the other one is created. E. Satan was next to Christ in exaltation and character. The Review and Herald, oh, October 22nd, 1895. But where is the Holy Spirit? Hmm. Now, I'm going to finish with this, beloved. All right, I'm going to finish with this. The original, because this is one thing that a lot of people use a lot, all right? The original, on borrowed, on, on derived, all right? Those are three words that people use, taken, by the way, from Ellen G. White herself to see, you see, she what she believed? We're going to put it back in perspective. And I'm glad the author of the book, Dr. Allen Stomp, has, has, touched, has touched the subject. Despite her Trinitarian background in the Methodist Church, Ellen White never used the terms Trinity or Triune God in her writing. During the first 50 years of Sisters White ministry, her brethren found nothing in her writing to cause them to alter their anti-Trinitarian theology. A turning point came in 1898 when with the publication the desire of ages on page 530 the following statement appear in christ is life original unborrowed underived he at he that at the son at life first john 5 12 the divinity of Christ is the believer's assurance of eternal life. The Desire of Ages, page 530. All right. The significance of this declaration is noted by Elder M. L. Anderson, who wrote the statement that at that time was revolutionary and compelled a complete revision of, uh, of my former view and that of the denomination on the deity of Christ without fear for favor page 76 
while clearly speaking of the divinity of Christ, what did Ellen White means mean by Christ's life being original, unborrowed, underived? Was she now advocating a Trinitarian position? Following the rule that the testimonies themselves will be the key that will explain the message given. So we're talking about selected message, book one, page 42, letter 73, 1903. We look to an article published one year prior. It's like me, a lot of things I, 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 I'm writing, uh, not writing, but publishing videos, oftentimes, my, I should say most of the time, I always build upon the previous one. So a lot of things maybe might not make sense to you, but if you go, if you go back and go back and go back, you will find little pearls, hidden pearls in some of the videos I'm, sh I'm sharing, I'm posting online some of the sermons, all right? We look to, uh, to, to an article published one year prior to the publication, Desire of Ages. This article, In the Signs of Time, and was enti entitled Christ the Life Giver. We find in this article a clarification of Sister White understanding of the concept. And let me read the clarification for you before I close. In him was life, and the life, and the life was the life of men. First John, John one verse four. It is not physical life that is here specified, but immortality, the life which is exclusively the property of God. Are you starting to understand? The word who was with God and who was God at this life. Physical life is something which each individual receives. It is not eternal or immortal. For God, the life giver, takes it again. Man has no control over this life. But the life of Christ was unborrowed. Not one, no one can take this life from him. I lead, listen, I lay it down of myself. John 10, 18. He said, in him was life original, unborrowed, underived. The life, it is, it, the life is not iner inherent in men. He can possess it only through Christ. He cannot earn it. It is given him as a free gift if he will believe in Christ as his personal Savior. The Signs of Times, April 8, 1897. And you can also find that same quotation in Book and Selected Messages, Book 1, page 2. 296 and 297. Well, saying this is all for this week. I already went way ahead of my time. Uh, I have to go do other errands, uh, spiritual errands tonight. You know, as tomorrow I have uh, church, I have to teach, I have to preach tomorrow in church. So I have a lot of things to do with my student. I have to take care, but as you know, we have a mobile church. So we have to take care of this. Plus we various pages, ministerial pages, and various other groups and WhatsApp group. Sabbath is the big day for me. So having said that, I'm going to leave you. And we will not see each other. We will not meet next Friday. But we will meet the next one after with chapter 10. And, and we'll keep brother. Please do me a favor. Let us keep brother. Right, Cliff in prayer. <laughs> a new father. You know, you know what it is, huh? I've been there. I don't sleep. I, I didn't sleep when I wanted. My baby, my little Lily decided, hey, dad, you're going to sleep. You can go to sleep now. My belly is full. Like a good, great man, like a good father. He doesn't just take care of the baby, but he has to take care of his first lady. And let's keep him in prayer.
so we can have some change every now and then because I'm sure I did not been for certain certain situation brother Wycliffe would be gratefully here with you with us tonight teaching the lesson so let us keep him in prayer let us keep all the m3 medical missionary team in prayer let us pray and fast for that week of prayer i love you guy and it is not from a laodicean state of heart that i'm saying but with philadelphia love maranatha see you soon amen god bless you guys ciao